Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the Raskellers altar table. Raskellers, if you don't know them, are a company out of Greece who have been making handcrafted gaming tables for the last seven years. The owners come from a multi-generation, family-owned furniture making business, so making furniture is no new concept to them. They make a variety of tables from the classic counselor table to the altar table, which is also known as Little Beast and it's the latest in their lineup which is what we're going to be going through today. This was our choice because it has a very distinctive monastery style to it, which for us was one of the biggest selling points. You can also go for the crowdfunding model, which is what they're working on at the moment. It is set to go live July 2020. If you are interested in that model, I hope that this video will give you an idea of what I think of Raskellers as a company, what I think of their products, what I think of their customer service. And if you're interested in the alter table, well, let's get started. So ultimately you have a choice to make. You can either go with a fully customized table or you can choose one of three pre-configured models that they have on their website, which means that you can take part of their promotional offer. The first table is a smaller table, which is seats four to six people, which measures in at 200 by 125 centimeters. Then you have the six to eight player table, which measures at 215 by 125 centimeters. And then the biggest one, which is the A plus player table, which measures in at 230 by 125 centimeters. We went with a smaller option. Often you go to the supermarket and you buy something and it says, this serves four to six people. And you get home and you make it and you, and you find out that it serves only three people. That is not the case. This really serves six people and fits them comfortably. So let's go through the accessories of the smaller table two daily drawers and one colossal drawer. These drawers are only four centimeters deep, so they are limited to what you can put in them. We use them for dice, chips, cards, tokens. We also store some of the accessories in the drawers. With wise leaves, these are not cumbersome to use. There is a ejection pin on one corner of the table which will lift the first leaf up. Once lifted, you can remove the remainder of the leaves the outer leaves are spring-loaded and can be adjusted with a screwdriver to ensure that the leaves fit snugly into one another. Each of the leaves that interleave with one another are surrounded by rubber to ensure that spills don't end up leaking through the cellar floor. Trench Patrol. This is a simple divider which allows part of the cellar to be used for gaming and stops dice and other items from rolling under the leaves which are still in place. Four cup holders. These cup holders were too small for us, but to give you an idea of what size they are, they fit a 450ml coke bottle perfectly with a diameter of 7cm. We ended up placing a second order of the larger cup holders with a diameter of 9cm. The design between the 7cm and 9cm cup holder differs slightly with the large being somewhat recessed. Then there is the bin. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be used for, but we used it as a dice tray in a two-player game of Wingspan, and for that purpose it actually works really well. It is nice and deep, and the inlay has a very soft velvet cloth. Four card and counter holders. These are around 54 centimeters in length. They have two layers of grooves for cards, and two large counter storage areas. I also use this for countertop for my laptop, so I have rules references for games such as Gloomhaven, and in other cases I simply put it directly on the table when playing a card game with the kids so that they don't have to hold the cards in their hands. It is very versatile and is a welcome addition to the game table. Clear plexiglass layer. They ship a clear plexiglass layer which is ideal for maps and games that require a smooth slippery surface. The plexiglass is around 3 mm thick and covers the entire cellar floor which is 1 meter by 1 meter 86 and comes with a suction cap to allow you to pick up the plexiglass with ease. The stain and the velveteen or Simonis cellar cloth. Raskellers will send you a box of three of your favorite wood stains which you will choose from a link which they will provide. 
Included in the box is a colour sheet with all the colours of the Simonis cloth that they provide. We chose BC1306 stain with a burgundy Simmons cloth. There is an option to opt in for a double sided cellar board, which is what we did. I'd highly recommend the Velveteen option because it is very luxurious to play on and it is also water resistant. For the Simonis cloth you can choose between the Simonis 860 or 760. The 860 is 90% wool and 10% nylon and is used in every major professional billiards tournament. The 760 is 70% wool and 30% nylon. The 760 is generally recommended for high traffic tables like those used in pool halls. When it comes down to the relevance for your own personal board gaming table, I think it makes little difference. The table is made from white European oak, which usually has no natural marks or knots, so you can ask for multiple finishes to the wood. The options are normal, knotty, antique and rustic. We went for the antique oak finish. This too is an optional extra. There is also an option to go with patina technique, which is where the natural grain of the wood is accentuated by making the grain either black, which is noir patina, or white, which is white patina. So now the six to eight player table comes with a couple of extras. It comes with the LED lights, which is on the inlay inside of the uh, cellar. It comes with a felt cap, which is a wooden board, which has a, um, a fabric top, which actually, once you take the leaves off, it sits on top of the ledges. Um, it comes with a double-sided cellar floor. It comes with uh, two extra cup holders, two extra card and counter holders. It comes with an extra bin that you can use and a USB charging dock with two USB ports. The A plus player table comes with um, uh, an extra trench patrol. So you actually have two trench patrols. It comes with a wireless charging dock. It comes with four cup holders and a double sided uh, and a double cup holder. It also comes with eight card and counter holders and an iPad tablet holder. Now one of the big things that's slightly different with the A plus player table is it does away with the, with the colossal draw. And this is replaced with, the, with a heavy duty um, leaf storage drawer, which can, you can put all your leaves in. Being able to store the leaves would be a big plus. We don't have anywhere to store them, so we end up putting them against the gaming, tape, gaming shelves. You also have the option to get a bench. Now the bench is quite nice, it stores all of the accessories and all of the leaves as well. But if you're going for the A plus player table, it fits perfectly then. So now you have a choice to make. If you're ready to commit, you put down a 50% deposit, and this ensures that you have a place in your production queue. The remaining 50% is then paid prior to manufacturing starting. And then comes the hardest part, which is just waiting, and waiting, and waiting. And then finally, in the last three months, you are presented with development photos of how the table is developing. This is what they call baby step photos, and these are uploaded to the Raskiller's website for your perusal. And when you finally get the mail that the, the table is being delivered, it will arrive relatively quickly. They use DHL or TNT as a service, and when it arrives, I'd highly recommend that you just take a few photos of the packaging to ensure that if there's any damage during transport that they can be addressed with Raskellers. It came in two boxes, weighing in at 288 kilograms. When I went to Essen in 2019, they had a new chair model that they were presenting at uh, the fair. The benefit of this chair was that it has arm support, which is quite nice. It's an upholstery chair. It has... Um, uh, it, the back of it wraps around your back, which is quite nice. And for someone who often st struggles with back pain, I haven't had any issues with these chairs. They're very comfortable. The other benefit is that if you do get chairs, these chairs will match the stain of your wood of your table. What I would recommend is that you go to Essen, check out all the different tables they have, try them out. They even have a hex shaped table. And if you choose to buy a table at Essen, you'll more than likely get a 20% discount. This is something that they've been having for the last couple of years. So it's a high recommendation to go there and just try it out. However, if you are interested in a more affordable table, then the crowdfunding table is the way to go. It is important to note that I'm not affiliated with Rathskillers in any way. I've received no compensation from them and I paid full price for my table. 
However, it is important to say as well that my experience with them has been overwhelmingly positive. I wish more companies were like them, who shared the passion that they do for what they do, had the same kind of pride in their products. And the customer support that I received from them was superb. I could not fault it in any way. They're a company who are only happy if you as a client are happy. Mm -hmm.